So if a person is standing somewhere and they see something in the distance, uh, a dog, right? It's helpful to be able to say, hey, look, in that specific direction, there is a dog with a head. It's also useful to be able to tell someone if you want them to go somewhere. If you want to tell them to say, walk towards that dog, you need to be able to say what direction that dog is. And that's where compass and true bearings come into play. So we'll kick off with compass bearings first. Now, this dot is you, and you are sitting at this, wherever you're standing, uh, and we've got a compass rose. Now, a compass rose looks like this, north, east, south, and west. Now, if you want to tell someone what direction a specific thing is, you do it in the following way. You say, first, I want you to face either north or south. So in the case of our dog version, which the dog was over here somewhere, we say, first, face north. Okay, and now you tell them, turn in the direction of east. Turn in the direction of east. But how much? Well, if we look at where the dog is, that's about 50 degrees. So we say to them, turn, um, look north, turn 50 degrees east. And this is how a compass bearing is written. North, 50 degrees east. A person should be able to now say, okay, look north, turn 50 degrees east, great, now I'm looking at the dog and I can walk towards the dog if I want to. So let's draw a couple more compass bearings on this compass rose. What does this say? South, 70 degrees west. Okay, so let's start it up. We're saying face the direction of south, now start turning west uh, by 70 degrees. Right, 70 degrees is almost 90 degrees. So this is that thing right there. I'm gonna label these like A and B. So let's put another one up here now. Let's say um, south 20 degrees east. So we start by looking south, we turn east by only a small amount, only by 20 degrees. And this is the direction that that one is in. And our final one here, north 80 degrees west. Start by facing north and then turn west by an angle of 80 degrees. And this is the direction of D. So that's how we can deal with compass bearings. True bearings are, I think, a little bit simpler. Now, true bearings are designed for ease of communication. Uh, the military uses true bearings because they really don't want to send one of their units in the wrong direction. So, how do true bearings work? Well, instead of saying face north or face south as your first step, you just assume every single time that whoever you're talking to is going to start by facing north. And then you just say to them, um, 70 degrees, and we call it a true bearing, so we write the letter T afterwards. That's it. The only thing you tell them is one number. 70 degrees, it's a true bearing. 70 degrees T. What that means is start by facing north because you always face north with true bearings and then turn 70 degrees clockwise. All right. That is a true bearing of 70 degrees. But what if you were going a bit further around? Well, you still just say a number. You just say 130 degrees, true bearing. So start at north, turn 130 degrees. Now I know 90 is there, so then I go an extra 40 after that. Okay, that's 130 degrees around there. And I can say that that's 40 degrees there. 210 degrees true. Again, face north, turn. 180 degrees all the way to here, plus an extra 30, and that is our true bearing of 210 degrees. This can feel a little ridiculous sometimes, so if you wanted to go someone, someone wanted to go 359 degrees true, what that means is start north, turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around, nearly 360 degrees, 359 degrees, where that is just like a one degree, and that is our 
um, direction, 359 degrees true. Now, provided you've drawn yourself pictures, you can very easily convert compass bearings to true bearings or vice versa, vice versa. So, uh, north 50 degrees east is the same as start at north, turn 50 degrees. North 50 degrees east is just 50 degrees true. What about south 70 degrees west? Well, that's this line here, right? Start at north 180 plus the extra 70. Now, 180 plus 70, that's 250 degrees true. What about this line, south 20 degrees? Well, start at north and go all the way to there. Now, I know that this angle here is 20 degrees, which means that this is uh, 70 degrees. So, 90 plus 70 makes 160 degrees true. And finally, north 80 degrees west. Turn all the way from north to here, 270, um, plus, ah, sorry, north 80 degrees west. Okay, north 80 degrees west is there. So if I want to get to there, I go 270 plus an extra 10, 280 degrees true. And of course, we can do all of that over here as well. So for instance, 70 degrees true. That is the same as start at north, turn 70 degrees. Start at north, turn 70 degrees east. This one here, 130 degrees true. That's that one there. Start at south. Uh, if it's 130 degrees true, that's a 40 degree angle, which makes this a 50 degree angle. Start at south, turn 50 degrees east. This one here, 210. Um, that's here. So again, start at south. 210 means there's an extra 30 degrees there. So south, 30 degrees west. And finally, 359 degrees true. That's that line right there. Start at north and turn exactly one degree, one degree west. All right, that's compass and true bearings and how to, um, how to convert one to the other.